Hey, it's Joe here. We're about to do some junkyard crawling today. Uh, I gotta get a coolant pipe for a 3 1 liter that broke on the installation of head gaskets. So, I'm just gonna bring you guys along. Um, basically, I'm charging up my batteries, and we're starting to get those now. Everything's charged up. Bring my electric impact, my little impacts, and some miscellaneous tools, battery brush, pliers. Knife, 10 mil, 8 mil. Uh, just a couple things to bring in. Some rubber gloves. So that's basically how it works. And I got three batteries for my impact. So, yeah. We're going to go ahead and uh, start heading out onto the road. Sorry about the shakiness of the video. So, yeah, this should be fun. Yeah, so we're heading out and it's actually very cold outside, about 2 degrees. So we're going to have some fun, you know, outside here. I'm leaving the apartment complex right now. Hopefully get back to the car at the shop today. But yeah, so uh, here we go. Here we are at the junkyard, guys, and yeah, I've already found the car. I'm in the GM section. What I'm looking for so this coolant pipe here is actually what broke, and I gotta make my customer happy. So I'm already someone's already cut this coolant tube and taken, start taking out the air box. So this coolant tube runs around. So you know, because I don't really care about this car, but I'm trying to save as many parts as I can for other people. You know, just start removing stuff. To get this pipe out of here. Somebody's already undone the bolt that was already about to take it off. So this one's actually already kind of loose. i got to take out the bolt here and take out the air intake. Yeah, this is the goodness of junkyards. Just get stuff out of here. I mean, it's really easy. Okay guys, so I got my coolant pipe removed. What broke in mind is uh the fitting right here, the metal piece actually cracked. So yeah, we're looking at this right now. Coolant pipe is out. So next thing we're gonna do, so basically the best part of junkyard crawling, I like to call it. So, you know, we got the part we're looking for. It's achieved what we got. But constantly, when you're building stuff or taking stuff apart, I mean, you lose little things like these little spacers and stuff like that. So what we're gonna—I mean, the best part is actually, um, you know, cut pigtails off and so because you know you're gonna be doing this again sometime, or if you broke anything, this is the place you come for. You're missing, you know, you're missing the bolt, obviously, like this person was last time they replaced something and all this stuff. Right now it's really cold out, so. But basically, you know, you're just gonna start grabbing stuff. I don't say stealing, I'm just saying this is stuff that's gonna be helpful if you do other stuff in the future. For instance, I do a lot of these 3 1 intakes, and these things tend to, you know, sometimes not always be the best. So I'm gonna take just, you know, what I can see, what I can get to, take all these bolts out. Short. These things, you know, these things are probably five bucks at the dealer. We're free. For instance, I know that this connector here, you know, is a very common, commonly one that's broken on things like these. So, I'm going to take the connector with me today, you know. There's all sorts of stuff you can get at the junkyard. And just. I mean, you gotta pick and choose what you're gonna get, because obviously they're gonna charge you if you start taking a lot of stuff. So, I mean, I'm just taking some of these bolts that I know I'm not gonna be able to really find, or stuff like that. So, 
relays, fuses, all sorts of stuff. I mean, you go down the line, all this stuff is somewhat in unison to each other. So, like, you got this modern 3-1, like, 98 note. Go over here. with the same cooling pipe that I needed, you know. That connector cut off is in a different location. And then you look, not quite the same pipe, doesn't have those T connectors coming off. And just, you know, you go on and on and on. Here's those same clips I just took off, you know? It's like, if you get takes enough and you lose it, there it is. So I was just letting you guys know, you're looking at stuff, what, what can you get? So... Also, other things you might find at the drink are some pretty creative stuff. This is Illumina, looking at it. So I just think their valve cover is red. Airbox red, their mounts red. That color that those even match the color of the car. You see, this is the same model or Monte Carlo, sorry, that I was working on. Some people, but you know, yeah, mod your car the way you feel fit. I just you see interesting stuff. So, thanks for coming on my little trip to the junk car today. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. You know, subscribe on top if you liked it, but um, if you want to see more videos like it, I'm going to try to do more little tidbit videos. Um, but if you've never been to a junkyard, really check it out. It's really great. Uh, today was a very cold day, 2 degrees outside, negative 5 I think is what it got down to. So my face is still really red, if you can't tell. And But basically, the way you gotta, uh, there's a bunch of connectors, bolts, stuff, anything you can really find there that... I mean, it would just cost you five, six bucks at the dealer. I mean, I've, I've had bolts cost seven dollars at a dealer that I've had to replace because I misplaced them or broke them on a customer's car. So there's a bunch of stuff like that, and really, I just advise you to go check it out. I mean, go see what kind of parts you can get before that. Like I said, this cooling pipe is really expensive that I got, which I just dripped cooling on me. <laughs> but you know, my it's just a great place to check out. I mean, that's why they're around and. You can find all sorts of stuff, and a lot of them have, like, I've been to a couple of import-only junkyards, and they usually have some kind of hidden stuff there that I've picked up, such as, you know, SR20 uh, Nissan motors and stuff like that. I'm sold on eBay. So, you know, if you're ever trying to get wiring or stuff like that, check junkyards out first. So, again, thanks for watching. You can check out Joe the Auto Guy on Facebook, and uh, just check out the channel. hope you liked it, and thanks for coming today.